Hello, Jeff from Lifetime Roofing. This is Joel from JND SEO. I spoke briefly to Paul today and I told him I would send this video over for you. So I'm going to show you three ways that you can beat your competition online. And I don't want to waste your time, Jeff, and I don't want to waste mine to make this as quick as possible. At the very end of the video, you know, if you want to hear more info, great, let's set up a time to talk. If not, feel free to take the free tips and strategies that I'm going to give you today, and you can go ahead and apply them as well. So I'm on your website right now, and you guys have some really nice projects that you've done. Got your service projects, estimates about contact. Uh, I'd like to have everything written out here. You got the about us. There's a nice chunk of content. Um, and then we got some roofs, different types of roofs that you guys do, different projects you've done. You got a couple of reviews and some contact info at the bottom. So you guys do have a nice looking site. One thing I would recommend for the homepage is just to put more content on it. Um, you guys probably have maybe 100 to 200 words of content, and I would recommend having over a 1,000. And the reason that we want so many words of content is that the more content you have, the more keyword phrases you can put into it, such as roofing Waltham MA, right? So this is a key search that somebody might put in if they were looking for a roofer um, in your area. And so this is going to be from a, for a new customer, obviously. If it was someone that knew you, they'd put your name in. So the first thing you'll see in any ad showing up is any ad, any ad, any Google search showing up is the ads at the top. Um, these are kind of the older ads. You would occasionally get like a tire kicker from that. So these are the new Google guaranteed ads. And of course, they're, they put them above the other ones. So they tell you clearly they're better, but you will get more verified results and people that are calling from those. You know, they're looking to get their roofs done now, not someone looking to get it done in the future. The next thing you'll see on any search is going to be the map section. And the top three companies show up in this section based on citations. This is kind of like the preview screen. You could click and view all. So citations are just when you get your company name, address, and phone number all listed together into a directory site. And those are sites like Yelp, Yellow Pages, Home Advisor, just to name a few. After that, we have our organic section. This is where the results start to come in, the company names with the websites. So if we were ranking this, um, this phrase here, Roofing Waltham MA, for instance. Uh, Cahill Roofing would be number one. Waltham MA Roofers, which is Olin Roofing, would be number two. Number three would be Yelp, a directory site. And number four would also be Yelp, another directory site. Well, the same directory site, I should say, different page. And number five would be M Snow. And you'll have 10 results per page. So if you want to be on the first page, you need to be in the top 10 for that keyword. And at the very bottom, you will see there's some more ads as well. All right, so the next thing we'll see here is I went ahead and took your um, website and I plugged it into a program called Airs. So this just tells me kind of how your site's doing and what's going on. If you think of the internet as a popularity contest, whoever has the most votes is going to get the most traffic and attention and views. And that's what we're really after, right? So I can see you guys do have some trust in the area. You do have some power behind your site. Not a ton, but you do have some. Um, so that's a good start for sure. And then we're going to see the referring domains, right? So these are just websites that you guys have links on those sites. So basically, these 16 sites are sending you guys over a 1,000 links back to your page. And uh, then we're going to have the keywords. So the, like we put in before, Roofing Waltham MA. You have 137 different keywords or combination of keywords and phrases that people can find you on in Google searches and other search engines as well. So these 137 keywords are what really drives the visitors to your site. And they're bringing 86 visitors to your site uh, per month right now. So let's take a look at these and we can actually see what keywords you have and how they're doing and which ones are really bringing you the traffic. All right, so right away we see your company name, which is typically what you will see in these, in these uh, keywords, because it's probably the most common thing on your page, right? So right now um, we can see for that search, it's bringing uh, five pe 500 people are searching that every month, your name. And what that means is they know who you are, right? I mean, that's gonna be your repeat business or potentially referrals. Maybe they saw a sign, a neighbor told them who did the roof, but didn't tell them all the contact info, so they have to look you guys up. And for this one, you guys are number one. <clears throat> so what that tells me is the top result, and it tells me that you guys are probably getting the majority of your volume of your visitors from your own name, right? Which is fine because you should be getting that, right? They're looking for you. 
Um, so that's good. You're the first result that shows up in the organic section. And we see some different variations. Um, lifetime Framingham. For this one, though, there's 150, and you guys are 13. So for this one, we do see a drop-off from 1 to 13. Um, you do have a 10 down here. But this tells us that you're on basically towards the top of the second page, but kind of going towards the middle a little bit as well. So the, the danger with that is sometimes people won't go to page 2. They're going to probably spend, if they're looking for you, they might. But if it's just an, an, a regular term like this one here where a new customer is looking for any roofing company, they're probably going to pick from the top 10 on page 1, right? That's why it's so important to get on that first page. So roofing, wealth, MMA, what someone put in, what I use for my example. And for this one, you guys, uh, there's 20 people that do search it. You guys show up as number 10, so you're on the last spot on the first page. So you did drop a spot recently from 9, so just be careful because you're almost on the second page for that one. I'm afraid you'd lose some traffic if that happened. All right, we have some more versions of your name. We want to see a few more like this because you want to have a nice combination of your own name, bringing in your own business, and then also bringing in new customers. This is what we're looking for. Uh, roofing, contractors, Waltham and MA. 20 people search this version of that uh, phrase. And you guys are 15. So you're in the middle of the second page. Then we have um, Cape Cod roofing and siding. Oh, complaints. That's not really necessarily what you guys want to be. Um, all right. So let's. I'm going to take the next company here, Olin Roofing, right? Just as a quick comparison. Um, you can see they have some pretty big numbers 127 referring domains, 400 links back, found for over 2,000 keywords. And that's really um, sending you know, back 1,000 visitors to their site per month. So if we just go ahead and you see they have a little more power to add 12 behind their site. So let's just check out their keywords. We have a Lynn roofing here and they have different variations without the, um, you know, without the apostrophe. So 300 people do search it the correct way. They're number one, Boston roofer, 150, number one, Olin roofing, 250, number one, roofing, Massachusetts, 100, number one, roofing, Boston, MA, 100, number one, Roof Boston, 150, number two, they dropped from one, just one spot. Roofing Contractors, Boston, number one. There's many more uh, terms, but I just wanted to give you guys a snapshot. You can see in the top, what, eight or ten here. This is probably closing in on a thousand already, just, just from that. And they're number one or two for almost every single one of them. Um, so guys, that's just a little bit of a comparison. I want to show you some of the traffic you guys potentially are missing out on by not having more keywords and content. Um, so I just talked a little bit about all of those items. This is my number. If you guys want to reach out, we could talk some strategy, talk about what we could potentially do with your site to spruce it up a little bit and get you some more um, traffic and customers through your, through your uh, website. Guys, thank you for watching today, and I look forward to hearing from you.